Hey guys, welcome back to Searching for Scary. Uh, I have some new recommendations for everybody and have a little bit of a change in how I'm going to be bringing the recommendations. So moving forward, I'm going to try to keep it to maybe one genre or one uh, particular theme throughout. And that way, if it's something that maybe you're looking to get into or if you really just have an itch for one particular kind of horror, uh, you can find a particular video and get all the different recommendations. So this week's recommendation is going to be um, really catered towards like zombies and zombie lovers, but honestly, any kind of like infection and uh, any sort of you know rapid infection is going to kind of make this list. So the first item I have here is the book, of course, which is where we usually start, and the book is The Rising by Brian King. Uh, again, I'm trying to keep keep in mind um, items that are not overly popular. So, you know, of course, there's plenty of books and comic books and movies that are all zombie related or have zombies in them. And I don't want to just keep giving you guys the same recommendations that Netflix is giving you or Amazon or anywhere else. Um, so for that exact reason, I'm bringing you The Rising. The Rising is... If not my favorite zombie book, it's top three. Uh, Water War Z is definitely up there, but The Rising is right up there with it. And Brian King is one of my favorite authors, uh, really because of this book. And I will tell you right now, this there are two books in this series. Uh, the Rising, as it sounds like, is the rising portion of it. Uh, just the beginning and kind of gets the main characters going. And then the second book is the conclusion, of course. So, quick synopsis on this, the book is around zombies, but it is not the traditional get bitten, turn into a zombie kind of thing. So, for starters, these zombies do not have to be bitten at all. Uh, and they're not zombies in the sense of there was some sort of disease that got out. Uh, basically, in this particular scenario, there is uh, something like a black hole that opens up a dimension to not hell, but it's a, like a hell-ish type dimension. And when that opens up, uh, there is a protagonist named Ob, and he's essentially like the devil or like a, the, the main demon. And he starts infiltrating our realm. And once he's here, he brings along his minions. And what they do is they essentially possess dead bodies. So if you died, one of these demons is going to possess your body and it's going to have some of your memories and knowledge. So it brings up all sorts of really interesting scenarios where you have people that just die in their room and they, or they die in their sleep or whatever the case is. And they're a zombie and nobody knows why or what happened. But on top of that, there's particular scenes where somebody like a spouse dies and because the demon has their memories and their knowledge, they will start um, really bashing the spouse that's still alive and kind of telling them how terrible they are and they hated them and any secrets that you know they were cheating on them or something like that. And so there's scenes in this book where someone is trying to hide out in their house or their attic or wherever they're at and somebody that they know, a loved one, is outside just berating them with true knowledge and information. And it's really creepy uh, but the main storyline in this book uh, revolves around a father and he is a uh, he's been divorced and his son actually lives in a uh, I believe it's Pennsylvania and he's in a totally other state and I want to say he's like on, in Florida somewhere down the east coast and he has to travel uh, to his son so his son has called him to let him know he's alive but that He's not doing good, and he's held up in the attic. Uh, there's nobody else to call. This is pretty much, you know, the, the end of the world, the apocalypse, you know, zombie, st zombie style movie book. So he's going to make it across the country to save his son. Uh, it's really, really good. I will tell you right now, you're, if you read this, uh, you're going to probably want to read part two. Um, it's, it's that good. You might want to just conserve buying both of them now. If you buy the Kindle edition, it is only $3, as you can see on the screen. And I believe the second book is also only $3. Uh, 
Um, the second book is called Dead City. Uh, same author, obviously. Really, really good. Uh, I couldn't put it down. Like I said, it's probably one of my favorite zombie uh, stories and books. And there are zombie animals, in case that interests anybody. Uh, so next we'll go to the comic book. The comic book is a more recent selection. It's uh, The Rise, presented by Heavy Metal. The Rise is actually written by George C. Romero, which is uh, George Romero that we all know and love, the you know, creator of Night of the Living Dead. This is his son that wrote this comic book. This comic is uh, essentially, it's not a prequel, or at least that's not what he classifies it as, but he states that this is the events that, that kind of conspired and ended up with Night of the Living Dead. And so some of this is taking place at the same time as uh, the same day as Night of the Living Dead, or the same night of it. But basically this is just how we got to that point, what happened uh, the events that took place in, for, these, for this disease or uh, whatever it may have been that caused the zombie outbreak. And if you've seen Night of the Dead, which I'm assuming you have, uh, you probably know it's really not a clear answer. George Romero Sr. never really provided a clear, this is why.